Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm here to do an update review on Belvedere's Man in Black Parfum. Now, I'm going to tell you straight away that this is a good fragrance when it comes to the scent, but there is one major downside to this. If you want to know about this fragrance, stay tuned. <laughs> What is good YouTube? Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikey Cologne and I'm going to be the host for today. Yes, we're doing an update review on Man in Black Parfum. This is a 60ml bottle, Parfum concentration, so they say. But before I do get going, if you do enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button, whip it and always press the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review at a later date. Man, this has been a pleasure to wear. It really has. Like I say, the scent profile I think is very nice. It's manly, it's smart, but I'm going to get into it. Right, you got black pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, LME, iris, tuberose, absolute, benzoin, cypriol and patchouli. This opens up with an explosion of spices. If you spray this on the back of your hand, like I have done a few times now, and you go straight in for a whiff, it will tingle your nose. It does open up very peppery. To me, up top it is the black pepper, then the cardamom, and then after about, I'll say two minutes, and then the cinnamon comes in. And the way that spice comes across up top, it does add in a level of freshness, but as soon as that cinnamon comes in, the fragrance starts warming up. Now, with this, you do get balsamic touches, like the overall backbone of Belvedere's Man in Black Parfum, it is balsamic and resinous. And at first, you get a little taste of it, and the longer this sits, the more darker it gets, the more resinous it turns, you get ambery balsamic touches. And I'll tell you what else I do get in this fragrance. I definitely pick up on vanilla. Like not, I would say the first, when it's really spicy up top, not really so much, but as it sits, it does turn a little bit vanillic. I get leathery undertones with it. So once it sort of heads into the mid, that spice does calm down. The tuberose, for me anyway, I think it smooths out the mid and it does add in a little bit of a creamy quality. Now at this stage, it is starting to darken and darken up. The iris in this gives it a powdery, dusty edge. It doesn't come across as lipsticky, cosmetic, not really buttery, it's more on the powdery side of things. And like I say, on my skin, it smells a little bit dusty. I do get woodsy touches with this. I think that's coming from the patchouli. The patchouli really darkens the base up here. This is similar to the OG Man in Black. Like the overall scent profile, like as soon as you spray this on, you can instantly be or you can instantly tell yeah that smells like the man in black and it does but there is differences you haven't got the rum or tobacco in this fragrance which you do have in the og so to speak this is definitely more stronger on the spicy side of things to me it's more resinous and i do get smoky touches with this which i didn't really get with the og so there is differences. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's not worth picking up because it's redundant. The overall scent profile is very similar. But like I say, there is differences as well. So it is down to you to choose if it's worth picking up because I can't tell you. I can't turn around and say, no, don't get it because each to their own. 
I do own the OG, yes, I do review fragrances, but I'm happy to have this in my collection because of the scent profile and the way it smells. So it's spicy, resinous, vanillic, woodsy, creamy, powdery, a little bit dusty, dark. That spice on my skin as well always stays in this fragrance. Up top, it is popping. In the mid, it starts settling down, and then in the base, it is there, but it's more sitting in the back. And in the base, that is when that patchouli really does shine, and that bends when they do come out. The tuberose just smooths everything out. So I'm happy with the scent profile. It's very nice. It's a smart fragrance. It's for when you're well-dressed or if you're going out with the lads, you're going to a party, you're going to a dinner date, and it's a cooler evening. Not even if it's really a cooler evening. I wouldn't rock, for, I wouldn't rock this in the dead of summer. I just think it'd be a little bit too much. So on a cooler evening, and if you're dressed up, you're looking dapper, this would be a great scent to wear. It's the longevity and projection which is, oh, I wouldn't say it's completely terrible, but it ain't great either. And because I like the scent profile, I don't want to sound like I'm knocking the fragrance. But I was doing five to six sprays. I'm getting about 45 minutes of, well, the first, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes is big projection. Then after that, it goes to moderate. Then it goes to low. And then by, I would say, an hour and a, about an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, it's like a good skin scent. And then on the fifth hour, it's basically gone. Like, it's very faintly. I can tell that I've sprayed something there, but the scent profile is it's basically dissipated. On clothes, it does last longer. Now, this is meant to be a perfume concentration and you would think that it being a perfum concentration that they do sit heavier on the skin and this does sit heavy at first but this does sit heavy at first but only for a little bit and then it starts just evaporating or fizzling out dying so i don't know what's going on but it is a disappointment if this fragrance had seven to eight hours of longevity, it would be like it'd be a knockout of the park. It really would. But because it's got low longevity and low projection, I mean, I would rate it a seven out of ten. Scent profile, I'd give it an 8.5, but overall, I'd give it a seven out of ten. And that is my full review on Belvedere's Man in Black Parfum. Like I say, the scent profile is nice. Oh, and it does have a little bit of sweetness to it. To me, the sweetness in this fragrance, it, it tames that spice a little bit. I think if the sweetness wasn't there, I think that spice might be a little bit overbearing. So there is a little bit of sweetness coming from that resinous, ambery, balsamic side of this fragrance. But yeah... Let me know if you have tried this fragrance. Bit of a letdown, but it does smell nice. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you own the OG? If you do own this, what do you think of it? Is it just my skin where the longevity ain't that good? Does it last for you? I would love to hear your thoughts. I appreciate everybody's support. And remember, smelling good's always a pleasure and never a chore. And I will see you lot on the next one. Cheers.